with the DJI FPV drone right around the corner, I have a lot of very awesome information to share with you guys today, including release date, price, and even photos of the drone itself. We're also going to dive into some more specifics, so definitely stay tuned and watch till the end of the video. So guys, before we get into it, if you're a YouTuber and you're trying to grow your YouTube channel, definitely check out my link in the description below to TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is an SEO tool that helps you grow your YouTube channel, and it's what I've been using to grow this one. So definitely check that out, link in the description below. So let's get into the video. So basically on YouTube, there was a video that leaked of the unboxing of the DJI FPV drone. If you wanna see that, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. The article here from Drone XL says, in addition to the drone itself, the combo includes a new FPV controller, which we saw in other leaks. It kind of looks like an Xbox or PlayStation controller. The FPV goggles version two, a battery charger and two sets of propellers. It seems that only one battery comes with the DJI FPV combo. There may also be a DJI FPV Fly More combo with more spare propellers, a carrying case, and extra batteries on the market. We do not see the name Flash anywhere. Um, yeah, so that's the thing about this Flash. They keep calling it the DJI FPV Flash drone in some of these rumors, but based off of what I'm seeing here, like even on the packaging, here it's not showing that so it's weird it doesn't say anything about flash but um the drone itself weighs 795 grams the maximum flight time for the drone is close to 20 minutes a little less than i would have liked but keeping in mind this is an fpv drone and not just you know your regular mavic that hovers in the sky so i'm okay with 20 minutes and honestly from what i've heard most fpv drones only offer five to ten minutes of battery life so 20 minutes is pretty good for FPV. So the drone's camera has a one and a half inch sensor based off of what I'm seeing here. Um, it's a CMOS sensor. It can film 4K at 50 and 60 frames per second or 1080p HD at 120 frames per second. I'm really excited to hear about the 4K 60. That's awesome. According to this article, they expect it to be at least 100 megabits per second video. Video clips are compressed using H.264 or H.265. The camera has an angle view of 150 degrees. So spacious fisheye, our expectation is that DJI will stabilize the images with software just like the Osmo action camera, it is expected that the drone is mainly suitable for so-called cinematic FPV recordings and image stabilization is very important for this. There are two sensors for obstacle detection in the forward flight direction. Two sensors are also visible on the underside of the drone. These may be used to assist during landing procedures. The article then goes over the remote, which weighs 346 grams, probably OcuSync 2.0, with a maximum range of 10 kilometers in FCC mode and six kilometers in European CE mode. I don't really know what that means, so if you do, let me know in the comments. There's also a return to home button, which is awesome. The video goggles included in the FPV combo are the DJI goggles version two. It combines two two inch screens, each with a resolution of 1,440 by 810 pixels. The glasses weigh 420 grams. For energy supply, a 1,800 milli hour battery is included, which allows the glasses to work for a maximum of 110 minutes. Launch date is expected to be March 2nd, like I said in the previous video. Okay guys, so now let's talk price. So price is probably gonna be 1,500 euros. Convert that to US dollars, that puts the price at $1,800. So definitely an expensive drone, but with this drone, you're getting incredible capability to capture FPV cinematic 4K video, and it's already built for you. It's got a 20 minute battery life. It's got a pretty excellent camera, obstacle avoidance, return to home. I mean, these are all features you wouldn't get if you built your own FPV. And if you do have those features with your homemade built FPV, then I'd assume you're probably a genius. But for someone like me, I couldn't build that. So 
I'm gonna have to say if I'm gonna get into FPV, it's gonna be with this guy right here. Very exciting, definitely something I'm looking forward to purchasing. Um, I do think it's gonna be a little bit before I get the drone, but once I do, you can expect some amazing cinematic video here on the YouTube channel, and also lots of different videos covering the drone itself. I'm sure you'll probably see a billion videos before you watch my content, as I am just a small YouTuber right now. But yeah, I just wanted to share my two cents. I absolutely love video, I love cinematography, and I think that this drone is gonna be incredible and a game changer a game changer and i don't say that lightly i really think that it's going to open the door for so much cinematic content um and really to bring that content to another level if you've seen fpv drone video before you already know what i'm talking about it's just incredible so very exciting to see what dji is doing in the world of drones and i love dji i love the technology they create and honestly everything they do when it comes to drone hardware is really awesome software can definitely be improved on but hardware is pretty solid and that's why dji makes up 80 percent of the drone market the the consumer drone market i should say um and a lot of professionals use dji too so it's not just consumers but anyway guys if you like today's video definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell also make sure to give this video a thumbs up that way it ranks higher for me in the algorithm. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.